So it's time to make the passenger seat swivel. Okay, so I'm gonna make a vlog about fitting a swivel base to this seat. So this is the passenger side. The seat originally came from a Mercedes Sprinter and it's um, been retrofitted. The base has been modified with a bit of angle iron and some changes there at the back so that it fits my T4. Um, it was carpeted and I've taken this off just to have a look at what it's like inside. The So I need to fit this base and the problem I have is that the seat already, because it, was, it wasn't the original seat to the uh, van is it all it already sits a little bit too high and it's always annoyed me if I go fit in this it's gonna sit higher still and it's gonna look and feel ridiculous your head's gonna be touching the roof so I've had a think about it for probably about an hour or two taking this off and putting it on top and, and looking at how it can fit and all various different scenarios I can think of and I've decided what I'm going to do is modify the base, I'm going to cut this down, drop it and um, put some plates in to fit the base inside the top creating a, a new level that's sitting a little bit lower than it is now and then um, making some brackets for the top of these sides here which will then match the positions for the rails for the underneath of the seat. So I'm gonna crack on with that. Step one, remove the plastic and I have drawn a line all the way around the box. I've measured 60 mil down from the top down, then put a straight edge on and just drawn all the way around the box. And what I've done is that's about 30 and a little bit of a bracket's gonna have to go on top of that, which is gonna make it with me, but it's about 40, which means that overall my seat probably may drop about 20 mil, something like that. Um, it's a drop, it's something. I don't wanna go too much with it, um, but if I can at least keep it a little bit lower than it is now, certainly don't wanna go higher. So I'm gonna go for cutting that off first top's all cut off and then I've just taken out some of the screws and things some of the little brackets and stuff to get rid of what's not needed anymore I'm going to get rid of this burr then wire wheel some of this nastiness off this will need rust treating and it will get painted and carpeted but the next stage is bit difficult to hold this because it's so bloody heavy but to give you an idea it sits inside like that now what I need to do is put some brackets across around here for the plate to sit on which can get bolted to it needs to be all welded in keeps nice and strong safety is paramount paramount I don't want anything collapsing in the event of a emergency stop or worst case scenario a crash Right, I've had a change of plan. So, as we know, that perfectly fits the underneath of the seat because it was designed for it, it was made for it. So instead of making brackets to fit that, to fit the underneath of the rails of the seat that would normally go onto that, I am going to make that fit that by bracketing up the underneath of that then that will sit inside this recess so that's going to sit inside there I'm going to cut say about mm, 20 mil off this bracket it up sit the plate on top and then that will swivel with that. So the whole thing, the whole top will, will turn, 
which I've already tried inside the van. I've put that back on its studs and then I've put that on top and I've swiveled it round and there's plenty of clearance. Whether the seat clears the B pillar, no idea. Not gonna know until I try it. However, just gotta crack on with it and hope for the best. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it so I'm gonna cut this down to give room for this and give clearance for that to turn. Obviously, I wanna drop the seat. So I'm gonna do it in a way where the seat's gonna drop and I'm gonna make sure I've got like, say, um, a five mil gap, maybe, because I'm gonna probably wanna carpet this and I want to do the carpet so it goes down the sides. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna come up here and then go over. Width of carpet, it's a couple of mil, isn't it? And then carpet that again round there. So, and I wanna make sure that, I could always washer it out. I could always pack it out if it's not enough. Maybe I'll go for 10 mil. 10 mil, and I've definitely got a gap then so that the cat sides won't touch and it'll be nice and smooth and not catchy. I'm gonna go with this. So if you'd like to see the final result of how I go about putting these two parts together for my van, like and subscribe and watch out for part two. Cheers guys.